Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss the load power of an electric vehicle. Let us try to see here. Our electric vehicle undergoes a lot of load power changes. So we are going to draw the graph of that one. Okay. So when you take this load power, so on the x-axis we are going to have the time and the y-axis you are going to have the load power experienced by an electric vehicle okay so here when you see here so i am drawing an uh, average curve so this is how the curve resembles for an electric vehicle when it undergoes uh, different types of uh, variations so this is how the curve is uh, varying so now this load power we are going to decompose into steady power as well as dynamic power so from here i am going to get uh, the two powers for an electric vehicle so this power can be divided into two parts so one is uh, steady power and next one is uh, dynamic power so in the steady power we are going to call this power as a uh, steady power this is nothing but uh, the steady state of the power so here indirectly the steady state you are going to calculate uh, the average power so when you take the average for all these uh, waveforms so you can get one magnitude uh, where i am going to call this as uh, the average power so <coughs> in steady state only the average power will be there or which exists and there is one more kind of power which exists uh, here this is nothing but called as a dynamic state okay so the dynamic state also i am drawing so this is uh, the dynamic state of the power so the y x axis all the time you have time and in the y axis you are going to have the dynamic power this dynamic power will be of uh, this category so already we have taken average from this power and the remaining power we are going to draw here so the same what we have been drawn there it will be a replica of this power So we are going to have the so like this you are going to have the replica of the power okay so when you see this power this power is called as uh, the steady state power and this power you are going to call it as uh, the dynamic state of the power train so in this dynamic state so this kind of powers or this power curve will be generally given by an internal combustion engine and this engine will be of a small rated of small rating okay but this kind of dynamic power will be supplied only by an uh, large power train so large power train and this power train should definitely consist of an energy storage and energy converter where that energy converter is nothing but motor so this sort of dynamic suddenly require high power suddenly you need to run as a regenerative mode suddenly require high power as well as low power these kind of dynamic changes has to be supported by a power train which has a largest power train or bigger size power train which consists of an electric motor in combination with an battery so this is called as power train why because energy source plus energy converter we generally call it as a energy source plus energy converter is called as a power train so this how the total power is splitted which is nothing but the load power this load power is splitted as a average power 
and here if you calculate uh, the average of this value okay so when you calculate the average of this value uh, automatically in the upper and lower you calculate the quote overall average and the overall average value this dynamic power becomes zero this is all about uh, how the load power of an electric vehicle will split as a steady state power and how it will if you add this steady state power and dynamic power will give you the total load power and this load power is exhibited by an electric vehicle so this is all about uh, how you understand uh, the total load power so in the upcoming video we'll try to understand about uh, the architecture or configurations of uh, hybrid electric vehicle so please watch the upcoming video so please like share and subscribe for more updates on electric vehicle thank you for watching